Hi, and welcome. I'm Sabrina Fry, and I am a glass bead mosaic artist. And since my two Florida shows got canceled this year, I decided to bring you along for a virtual tour of my galleries. So I'm hoping that you can imagine being at the art show, having it be a nice warm day, but not too hot, and being able to enjoy some incredible art. So I'm going to give you a quick tour of some of my works that I was going to bring with me. This first piece is called Aquarius, and here I was dreaming about being under the water, looking up at the sky from below the waves, and this is where you get this kind of ethereal feeling underneath there. This is made out of seed beads, very small 11-0 seed beads, um, and it's just kind of a really cool feeling before you get to here, and this is known as Blaze. This is also made out of small 11-0 seed beads, and this is a look at being in the flames, not just looking at the fire, but actually being in it. Um, both of these pieces measure 20 by 26 and are created on a recycled cabinet door. So there's... Now I'd like to introduce you to some of my more abstract pieces that I don't usually get to take on shows, but this piece is called Color Rays, and it is a functional clock. What makes this piece unique is that it was made using not only seed beads, but also bugle beads and represents the color wheel. And it was created on an upcycled serving tray. So the edges are kind of rounded up, um, which gives it a really neat, very textural look to it. This next piece is called Time Passes. And um, this is, again, another functional clock. This one shows the four seasons, um, summer, fall, winter, and spring, with the black and white representing night and day. Time passes is 13 by 18 inches. The next fun piece is called Blue Move. And this is one of my all-time favorites. This piece is 14 and a half by 25 and a half. And some people think it looks like bubbles, some people look, think it looks like space, but it started a series of move pieces that you'll see coming up. Um, and this was just a lot of fun. Lots of shades of blue interacting with each other all over the place. The next one is called Here Comes the Sun. And yes, it was inspired by the Beatles song. And this is interplays of yellow yellow all over different shades of orange yellows and bright yellows and white yellows and everything interacting together and this one is 24 by 21 um, and is also made on an upcycled cabinet door as all of the uh, move pieces are so this one is a lot of fun with a lot of movement in here This next one is called Strawberry Field. Yes, again, another Beatles song. I was inspired by a trip to the Cirque du Soleil show in Vegas and came out with all kinds of wonderful ideas, but this is playing on those strawberry colors. Strawberry Fields measures 26 by 14 and is also created on an upcycled cabinet door. The next one is called Days of Our Lives. And this is a continuation of this move series, but this celebrates the four seasons, fall, summer, spring, and winter, and again, night and day. Um, this has is made using small seed beads and kind of in a stained glass type of a pattern. This larger one measures 24 by 21 um, and is also made on an upcycled cabinet door. Here I'd like to introduce you to Pressure, and Pressure was inspired by the Queen song and the Bohemian Rhapsody movie that recently came out, and this piece just represents um, kind of the pressure we have in life to conform to what people want from us and expect from us, and as you go down the piece, you'll see how the pressure kind of alleviates and allows us to be who we are and who we want to be. This piece is very unique in that it's made using stained glass. The black is stained glass, and the rest of it is small seed beads in a gradiating pattern down the piece using pretty much every color in the rainbow. Had a lot of fun with this. 
and this piece measures 16 and a half by 39. Whenever I get really deep into a series, I need sometimes just a mental break. And these mandala explosion pieces offer me just that. This one is 20 by 21, and it is full of monochromatic colors. I grouped all the colors together, but more than anything, it's full of little details. And uh, here are some examples of what I did. I tried to keep colors together uh, for a very specific look, but I was able to incorporate all types of elements and details into this really incredible mandala piece. This is the third one of these explosion pieces I've done, and I love all of them. Recently, I started a series of birds, and Vlad is one of them. He is a brown pelican who measures 16 by 15, and Vlad is made using almost all exclusively bugle beads that are placed one by one, um, but then I also incorporated some seed beads in this as well. Next is Flutter. Uh, there are a few of the Flutter pieces. These are hummingbirds that are fluttering around the flowers, beautiful pieces with a lot of detail. Both of these pieces you're going to see here are small. They're seven and a half by ten and a half, but they're full of detail. I used wire to get the really fine details of the feathers in, as well as um, bugle beads and then seed beads for the flowers and the background. Um, these pieces are not very large, but they are extremely detailed and very beautiful with more flutter pieces to come. Here are the two pieces together, and here's the second hummingbird in this series. Um, different colorway, little different method, but still same level of detail um, and lots of personality with these little guys. Now you're in for a treat. This is Jeer, and Jeer is a Jeer Falcon and he measures 19 by 14. This is one of my absolute favorite pieces that I have ever created. Um, it is pretty much just a black and white piece, but so much character, so much personality and depth in this guy, um, using various shades of white, silver, and clear beads mixed in with the black, but all the detail in his expression is right there. This next guy is named Chief Hosa, and he is a raven who did a wonderful modeling session for me in Yellowstone last year during a show that I was up there at. And he is made using about six different shades of black. Uh, there is extreme detail in his expression as well as his feathers, using mostly bugle beads, but some wire and seed beads included as well. You can see kind of the twists and the turns in his feathers that make him absolutely magnificent. Another unique thing about Chief Hosa is that he is 13 by 13, but he was created on an upcycled cabinet door that has a really unique feature on the bottom that allows his feathers to actually hang off the bottom of the canvas. The next one is Heron Sunset. This one is 11 by 14. And it's a beautiful Florida sunset with the shadow of the heron reflecting in the light. That's why I kept the heron all in black. Um, so it gives that really kind of midnight beautiful glow to them that they had that time of day. Now I'd like to introduce you to Hopper, who is a warbler. And uh, he was a lot of fun. This little guy is 10 by 11, 10 by 12 inches. And again, made of bugle beads for the tree and the bird itself with seed beads in the background. And he is accompanied by his chickadee friends over here who are Neil and Buzz. Um, these two little guys are kind of playing in the pine trees with some pine cones, um, just having a load of fun. And they are also 11 by 12 inches. Now I'd like to introduce you to Drake, who is an 11 by 14 red cardinal who has a ton of curiosity and a ton of personality bursting out of his beautiful red feathers um, while he's perched in this tree, kind of just playing Mr. Curious. Thank you for visiting my gallery, and I hope you'll visit my website for more information on all these pieces.